Question number 3 of probability exercise 16.2 of N, C, E, R, T Mass Textbook, Class 11. Hello friends, the question is like this. An experiment involves rolling a pair of dice and recording the numbers that come up. Describe the following events. A is the event such that, the sum is greater than 8, B is the event such that, 2 occurs on either die, C is the event such that, the sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3. Which pairs of these events are mutually exclusive? Now we shall solve this question. As solved in earlier problem we can write the sample space of rolling a pair of dice and recording the numbers as given by the set S, now, A is the event such that, the sum is greater than 8, for this we can see that outcomes 3 6, 4 5, 4 6, 5 4, 5 5, 5 6, 6 3, 6 4, 6 5, 6 6 are such that the sum is greater than 8. So all these events form the set A as shown. Next we shall take the event B. B is the event such that 2 occurs on either die. For this we can see that outcomes 1 2, 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, 2 4, 2 5, 2 6, 3 2, 4 2, 5 2, 6 2 are such that 2 occurs on either die. So all these events form the set B as shown. Finally we shall take the event C. Now C is the event such that, the sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3. Since the outcome when the sum is at least 7, are the outcomes of getting the total 7, or 8, or 9, up to 12, and the outcomes when the total is a multiple of 3 are the outcomes of getting the total on both dice as 3, or 6, or 9, or 12. Hence the required outcomes that the sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3 are those outcomes which have the sum equal to 9, or 12. These outcomes are 4 5, 5 4, 3 6, 6 3, 6 6. These events form the set C as shown. After describing the events we have to tell which of the events are mutually exclusive. For this we take the events A and B. If we observe the events A and B, we see that they have no outcomes as common, therefore A intersection B is equal to phi, hence events A and B are mutually exclusive. Again if we take the events A and C, if we observe the events A and C we see that they have 3 6, 6 3, 6 6 are the common outcomes to the events A and C therefore A intersection C is not equal to phi. Hence the events are not mutually exclusive. Again if we take the events B and C. If we observe the events B and C we see that they have no outcomes as common. Therefore B intersection C is equal to phi. Hence events B and C are mutually exclusive. Hence we can conclude that from the events A. B and C the events A and B and the events B and C are mutually exclusive. Which is required answer. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.